Hey, what's going on guys? Brad here, Brad's Love Aiders. All right, we're gonna talk about the buyer's dump insert. I'm gonna go through a bunch of questions that you guys submitted from Instagram, Instagram ask questions, and also from Facebook. We're going into the fall, winter season time here. I know a lot of you guys got questions about fall cleanups, capacity of the dump, uh, dump insert, uh, any regrets, cost, uh, sizing, all this other stuff. Let's check it out. All right, guys. Well, if you guys are new to the channel, we're all about helping you guys grow a more successful lawn and landscape company so you guys can go out there and crush it. If you guys are new here, you don't have to subscribe. Just check out the video, hang out, have fun. If you guys are part of the regular crew, uh, big thumbs up. Super appreciate the support. All right, let's go through the dump insert really quick. Uh, this is a buyer's dump insert. This is the steel version, all black. Uh, it is four seasons old. Uh, we actually got this from buyers. We actually did a little YouTube promo video. So I had mine installed back at uh, headquarters because we were going to do a full factory walkthrough, which is actually really cool. I'll try to leave a link in the uh, description and a card for that video. It was a couple years ago. Where can you get them installed? Go to their website, look for a dealer locator. There's a site one down the road used to install them by us. I don't think they do that anymore. So you're gonna have to shop around, see who sells the buyers and puts them in, okay? Uh, this is the, I think, six and a half foot box. There's an eight foot bed version and there's also a six and a half foot version. This is in a 6.75 foot bed for the Ford F-250. Most three quarter tons are probably that six and a half to seven feet. So. Uh, let's do a little walk around here, Rob. So uh, this right here, we bought the uh, metal sides. I'm not you know, super technical with this stuff. We bought the metal sides. The wood doesn't come with anything, obviously. Uh, but you had to buy this, the cab guard, and then the tarp system. Uh, all in, it was like 3,800 bucks. But gosh, I'll tell you what, I, I don't know the current price right now because the cost of steel, you know, last you know year and a half, especially with COVID. Um, but outside of that, I'm not sure what it is. Plus costs go up in general. If you guys have bought one recently, maybe last uh, 90 days, could you guys leave me a comment down below? Let me know what you guys have paid for one. Uh, this right here has the steel swing door. Uh, it can open up two different ways. Okay. Uh, got some old stickers on here. Uh, here's the Ross. I know one of the, we'll get into you guys' questions here in just a quick second, but I know one was, how is it holding up? Rob, you can come in here. Here is the only real rusting that we have. A lot of this is scraping from snow blowers pallets um everything we set is in the first three or four feet typically right except for uh, maybe some mulch um, and some other aggregate that we might put in here which is very rare um open this up you can also pop this lower chain we don't do this too often but in case you guys want to add the salter attachments you guys can see that all this can drip out too Maybe you have uh, a stone driveway you're trying to lay a bunch of stone down, whatever. I don't do too much of that, but it is a pretty cool feature. I know another question you guys are gonna have is dump insert versus a dump trailer. I'll cover that here in just a quick second. Just a big once over. Uh, Rob, let me throw up here really quick and show the tarp system. Take the camera from you. A lot of you guys are probably wondering what the tarp system looks like. You got the rolling handle. This uh, just takes these two bungees off, rolls all the way down. This is the cap guard. Here's some clearance here with a third brake light if you guys need to put a uh, rack up here or any capacity for emergency light bars. A back rack or a headache rack will not fit if you have the cap guard option on here. I'm not even sure if it would fit if you don't have this piece on here as well. Uh, pretty sturdy. Right, not too bad. Uh, Rom, let's do this. Let's uh, lift it up real quick. We'll show underneath. All right, now another question a lot of you guys have is, why don't we not have the Bluetooth controller yet? Because nobody sent it to me, that's why. Because it costs money. <laughs> I don't know, how much is that? Anybody got an uh, idea, leave me a comment. All right, so Rob, if you want to show in the thick of it, how has it been holding up? Obviously you don't want to stand or anything like this that's lifted up. Uh, haven't had any issues with it, arguably, so far. Again, this is four seasons. I think you get one or two season warranty on it. Uh, from what I remember, this thing weighs 800 pounds. Um, pretty straightforward stuff. I mean, you don't want to do anything more than one board high and avoid the warranty. I do need to replace these little bumpers or add like pucks, which is what a lot of guys do. Um, but honestly, like this thing is 
very robust. We mounted this into the fifth wheel mounts for our truck. I think we had to bolt uh, new holes back here and a couple shims there to uh, just make it level. Uh, might, maybe has like a, a small slant to it, probably a one degree slope, a Caleb Allman. All right, uh, so very, very simple, very straightforward. Not a lot of rust underneath here at all. Actually, I'll be honest with you. There is not like literally no rust on this yeah. thing. Underneath looks to be no rust at all. Yeah, I mean, I know it's super bright sunny day, but all right, let's go into the question and answer session. We'll keep this thing moving. All right, let's go through the Q&A session here really quick. CJ's Lawn Care 11, have we had any major breakdowns? Honestly, no. Thank God, knock on wood. Steel cuts the best. What are the scenarios where you wish you had something more capable or what don't you like about it? Um, to be honest with you, I wish it was some more capacity with an eight foot bed. Uh, if I was going to go all in with a dump insert and not a dump truck or a dump trailer, I probably would have got an eight foot option, which then again, it kind of unravels Pandora's box. You need an eight foot bed, you need an eight foot truck, you get the super crew to fit the whole uh, guys and the company in there. You start to plow snow, residential, you're compacted. Ay, 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 it turns crazy. If you're not plowing snow, uh, I would go with a uh, full eight foot bed and the eight foot dump insert. If you are plowing snow, you're gonna have to do an eight foot bed with a regular cab, you know what I mean? It's just, it gets really long when you do a super crew truck with an eight foot bed. So if you're plowing residential, you don't have a lot of working capacity there. How much will it lift and can it quickly be removed from the bed? Uh, I think it's 800 pounds is how much it weighs. Uh, I don't know how much we can lift. We've put five yards of wet mulch in here. I think a, a yard of mulch is like four to 600 pounds, don't quote me. So the better part of 2,500 pounds maybe. Uh, I might be exaggerating that. I'm not sure. I'm just trying to think of some numbers off the top of my head, but we've done five yards of wet mulch many, many times in the spring. Did we have to uh, upgrade airbags in back uh, to load the extra weight? I'm considering getting one for the 2500. No, we did not uh, add airbags, uh, no extra leaf springs. Uh, it's been working great, so I'm pretty happy with that. All right, let's transition to Facebook really quick. We've got Matthew Crum. Any major rust points appearing? Honestly, not really. I mean, this whole bed right here, and we haven't spray painted anything, added any coatings of anything. I This thing is sun faded 24 seven for four years. A um, Little bit of nicks and whatnot on the steel, but honestly, like, a couple of different spots right here and here. But overall, people are like, oh, this thing will rust out in two years. That's just not true. Uh, any issues with the welds? No issues with the welds. Any issues with the lift system? Honestly, no, knock on wood. We just want to know from uh, Nate Simmons. We all just want to know if it's a piece of junk or not. Honestly, very happy with the dump insert, okay? Uh, how many yards are we able to put in here of mulch? With just the regular sides, you're probably able to put two yards in. With one board, we can get about three, three yards of mulch in here. With the double side boards, four and a half to five compacted, just pushing it in there, pushing it in every corner. When we put the leaf box on here, we were getting about four and a half to five yards of leaf material, which by the way, that was after the Billy Go shredded it, I think like a, a five to one reduction or whatever it was. So we're taking 20 yards, we're reducing it to four or five yards in here. Uh, we were lifting the leaf box, no problem at the dump. Wet leaves, you know, soaking overnight sometimes. Thankfully has never been an issue. Uh, one other question that I know a lot of you guys were asking was dump trailer versus dump insert. Um, again, the capacity of a dump trailer is going to smoke a dump insert, right? But here's the deal. I can only pull one piece of equipment at a time. I can pull one trailer at a time. So for me personally, I think a really cool setup is having a dump truck or a dump uh, insert in a truck with an enclosed trailer to bring your baggers, bring your mowers, your landscaping equipment, so on and so forth. We put our Billy Goat on the neck of our trailer. That is the best case scenario. That is the ultimate setup, in my opinion, for a owner operator and a one crew setup. All right, guys, that is as many questions that you guys submitted as fast as I can answer them, just to keep the video short and sweet. Sorry for the sunglasses, super bright light. Just had laser eye surgery a couple days ago, so my eyes are a little uh, sensitive to the light. But here's a couple questions I have for you guys. Do you have a dump insert? Do you guys have the six and a half bed or the eight foot? Uh, for those of you guys that are rocking buyers, did you guys get the stainless steel or the steel uh, or the poly box? The poly, if you dump into it, from what I uh, have heard, if you got big rocks or aggregate, could you know break uh, the dump insert. 
probably not gonna happen, but you get some boulders in there, go right through, so maybe stay away from that. And then also a quick question for you, if you guys are rocking buyers as well, have you guys added the salting attachment? I know uh, my boy Dylan uh, Stevenson with Solo Cuts Landscaping in Ohio, he bought the salt spreader attachment. If any of you guys have that accessory for the buyer's dump insert, leave me some comments down below. I'd love to hear how it works. Last thing I wanted to mention is, can we take this in or out of the truck? Um, I think you could if you had a forklift and you had access to uh, extra long forks, right? You could get underneath the whole dump insert, lift it up, take it out. A lot of guys will have the electricity uh, with a couplers and they can pull this whole thing out and put a salt box in. Would I probably do that? Honestly, no. Okay, I don't have access to a forklift. Even if you had a tractor, you would need something with a lot of capacity on front to be able to lift this thing out. It does weigh 800 to 1,000 pounds. Probably not something you're gonna take in and out of the truck all the time. So that could always change. We might transfer this to another truck in the future. We'll see what's going on. Uh, we might buy a dump truck in the future. We'll see what's going on. For me personally, here's what I'll just end with as, uh, as I wrap up the second time. I feel like a, a pastor now, right? I'm gonna wrap up twice. What the dump insert did for me was really alleviate a huge bottleneck for my business. When we were doing leaf cleanups back in the day, we had to take the leaf uh, material and the grass material uh, and all the shrubs, the hostas, the daylilies, the tall grasses, right? The ornamentals. We had to throw it in the back or we had to bag it. It was awful. We had the pitchfork out on the utility trailers. We had to bag and then put that inside the enclosed trailer or the bed of the truck. My old F-150 had the fiberglass tunnel cover. That was just a nightmare because we couldn't really rip that thing off, so we couldn't load it. We couldn't add bags back there all day because it was so hard to get them all out. So what this did for me was a huge, huge Band-Aid for my company, my business about four years ago. It allowed us to bag grass. It allowed us to bag leaves. It allowed us to have, even if we just threw tarps back there, uh, with the old truck, it was still such a pain in the butt ripping that stuff out. The tarps would rip. We could only do two yards of material, right? So what this did for me, literally changed the game. I mean, we've made tens and tens and tens of thousands of dollars doing leaf cleanups that we never would have been able to do before, right? So what it did for me was it eliminated a huge bottleneck. Also, I couldn't put a dump truck at the apartments I'm living in, uh, have lived in, or even in an HOA, you can't have a dump truck, an F-550, sitting on those uh, premises, you're gonna get uh, a ticket or the city or the HOA is gonna give you a letter saying get it out of here, right? So a F-250, an F-350 or a three quarter ton like a Chevy 2500, you put a dump insert in there, nobody's gonna say anything. It doesn't look tacky or awkward, like I can take this to dinner on fr Friday night, uh, throw the wife in the truck with me, nobody thinks twice, it's not this huge dump truck going down the road, okay? That's what I got for you guys, a lot of words. If you guys appreciate this, big thumbs up. Uh, if you got questions or comments, please leave them down below, whatever I can do to help you guys grow. Uh, maybe this might be the ideal uh, dump insert or product for you, uh, buyers or otherwise, shout out to those guys. Maybe not, just let me know what you guys think and uh, that's what I got for you guys on today as we wrap up the work week. By the way, big shout out and thumbs up to Rob behind the camera. Thank you Rob for filming. Mm -hmm. Boom, over now guys, see you later, bye.